Okay, thank you so much, everyone, for coming today. Uh, we're, uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to answer all your questions about the Great Canadian Playwright Showcase that's happening in Grand Prairie in May from the 9th to the 12th. Now, about, about the affordability, luckily, there are tons of grants exactly for this kind of thing. <laughs> Um, in Alberta, the Alberta Foundation for the Arts uh, has a grant. The deadline is March 1st, so want to get on that right away in case you haven't. There is a video on the um, conference YouTube channel, which is the Great Canadian Playwright Showcase YouTube channel. Um, and you can look for the video. It is called AFA4. TGCPS. I guess that's probably the easiest way to search for it. Um, anyway, it's got a lot of information there. Um, there's now it's for this particular grant, which is for Albertans. But even if uh, you know the rules apply pretty much across the board, whichever grant you're applying for, it's always kind of the same thing. Um, you know that the you know that the grants are getting at. So, Watch it, even if you're on ter in Ontario, BC, the Maritimes, Territories, doesn't matter. Take a look at it because it's useful information anyway. Um, and know that your province or territory very, 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 very likely has something equivalent. There is, in fact, a, a tab on the website, the conference website, which is tgcps.ca so just the acronym of the great canadian playwright showcase .ca um that's called grants and it, there it's broken down national grants and then the, into um not provinces and territories but areas provincial territorial grants there national grants there and also what's not listed there but of there are many of uh, municipal grants also, if you, you know, if you belong to any kind of cultural social or any kind of any kind of group, usually they've got some fund for the art artists and they're amongst them. Uh, you know, even if it's a sports team, sometimes they have money for that kind of thing, too. Schools, of course, have a lot of um, grants and things like that. Places of worship, you know, the, the congregants are often, you know, overjoyed to help their their um you know fellow members um reach their their goals uh and then anybody who belongs to any kind of cultural um association uh you know go there they got money for you too probably so um there's lots of it around um i know um what do you call them credit unions also often have programs for their members um to apply so there, there's just lots of places to go and i understand that the um the deadlines are all probably approaching pretty quickly on these uh our grant writer sarah she will help you if you need it if you need the help she will help you if you need a letter for example some grants you need a letter also another uh, you know problem per se you very rarely get the money regardless. You very rarely get the money before the event. So you have to put the money, find the money to put up front and then recuperate later, which can be a problem. However, if you've got the grant, you can go with that, right? You can go to anybody, family, friend, bank, credit union. Hey, I got this grant. Can you please lend me the money till it comes in? That's, you know, easy, okay? Um, and even if you don't know the results yet, you can still say that you're pre-approved for the grant, which you have been by merit of you being accepted on the platform that administers the, or, you know, the platform where you make the submission and where you get your, your, your the portal for the, for the grant, I guess, is what you would call it. So once you're admitted on the portal, you are now you, are, you can automatically at this point say, quite legitimately, I have been pre-approved for funding, which is very significant depending on who you're speaking with, right? Okay. Um, all right. So 
did I answer your questions or, you, or did I give you any ideas, Meg, about how you might be able to get here, even though, uh, you know, it, it's going to be costly? I can look into it a little bit. I'm not that optimistic on the East Coast that there will be cash. And I, and I actually work within a theater organization. I did work within the theater organization. So that's partly why I'm curious about your showcase. It's very new. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's, it's nothing like that. It's, I mean, I've been, because I because in the Bolton that I was editing, I was covering anything that went on of interest to any playwright, even, you know, stuff across the country for East Coasters. And uh, there wasn't anything like this. So uh, I'm sure they'd be quite happy to promote it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this conference is, yeah, you're right. There is nothing. I don't think there is anything like it. It's mo well, there is something like it because it's modeled after something else. Mm. Uh, it's the ILMC conference in London, which is actually a music oh. conference. Oh, right. Okay. okay. So that's a, that would, uh, you know, that's an obvious one there to showcase musicians, right? That makes sense. Mm. And I, but I really like the format and I wanted to bring that to the theater community somehow and you know what else can you showcase but scripts right that's a perfect thing to oh. to showcase the you know the best 10 minutes it's a nice quick you know bite of your best work in front of you know a room full of people who are looking to buy yeah it's pretty impressive really thank you thank you thank you i have a question here if you can hear me okay yes peter Great. Um, so, I, I mean, the website looks great and the, the list of, uh, you know, the keynote speakers looks fantastic. Um, I'm just wondering, so, you know, I'm not a full-time playwright. I have aspirations to, to do that kind of thing. Um, but for someone like me, who is not kind of uh, fortunately or unfortunately, you know, for me, it's unfortunate. I'm just not full-time in the arts. I wish I was. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in coming. Is, the, is this the right venue for me? Or is this really geared up for people who are very established? I think that's really what I, I'd like to, to figure out. Okay, that's an excellent question. Theater can be a little cliquey. And because of that, it's difficult for um, decision makers to come in contact with new talent. The traditional method of getting your script to these to decision makers without having access to them, you know, by any kind of degree of separation at all, was you'd send it in, right? You used to send in a manuscript and then now you can send in an email, but it doesn't matter. It still goes to a slush pile. This is a unique opportunity for, especially for emerging playwrights to, you know, break through the slush pile, right? Um, uh, another thing that is a, uh, a true fact in, in the writing world is that nobody will talk to you unless they've seen you, unless they know you. So the, and a really simple way to get people to know you is to attend their webinars or their conferences, or coincide with them where they show up, right? You don't even have to take their hand. But when you write to them in an email with your query letter, you can say, I was at such and such in coffers where you blah, 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 blah. And, you know, reference that. And that is your in. So it's this is a great opportunity for that, especially since it's the chances of you getting to shake their hands are exceedingly high because they're going to be in the same room with you. and. Even if you don't get that opportunity, you still got the opportunity to put your work right in front of their faces. If they like it, they want it, they'll find you to shake your hand. And I think if you have a, a subject line, plot line that is going to grab attention of Canada in general across the board, bring that to this event because with Stratford, these important people coming there they can make that happen. We can get that across Canada and, and see it. And everyone needs yes. projects right now that'll bring the whole country together. So I think yes. it, this is an important time to bring that project to this event and network because like Jen said, when you later go and connect on social media with that person and you say, I was at the Great Canadian Playwright Showcase, remember my story, that's how you get 
them going, oh yeah, I've got to talk to that person I said I would talk to. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. That's a great point, Deb. Thank you. That's exactly, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. This right. is an unequaled opportunity to, to network. Great. Thanks. Thanks for that. That's that's very useful. Okay. Thank you for the, for the excellent, excellent question. So is the full cost six hundred dollars about? Yeah. Is the the, the full, yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's let's talk about that. Um, the full registration is six hundred dollars. That includes access to all the events like your pass and everything that'll get you everywhere you want to go. If you're a playwright, it includes one showcase spot. If you've got more works or you want to showcase the same work more than once, you can buy another spot for $50. It's not that um, pricey there. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you're a member of, excuse me, um, Playwrights Guild of Canada, Alberta Playwright Network, or um, Canadian Actors Equity Union uh, Association, you have discounts. Um, it's just the acronym of the association and then the acronym of the event, TGCPS, and then 2023, and that'll get you your discount automatically. Any group that wants to ask for a code, like to discount for their group, I am happy to facilitate that. So if anybody has a group out there or, you know, tell your group, hey, get in touch with you and she'll give you a code. We've got bigger discount. Thank you. There's a lot of active playwrights out here. And I would think you'd get interest. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, now, the, okay, so that's the full um, registration, and that, uh, and it also includes most meals. And I say most oh. meals because um, the conference hotel is in breakfast is included. Um, mm. the, the conference hotel, uh, which is the Hilton, they gave us a great deal on that for delegates, and th it's a, a hot breakfast is included every morning. Now, of course, you don't have to book there you can book somewhere else but that's why i say most meals because if you book in conjunction with the, the the conference hotel then it does cover all the meals you got to get yourself there but once you get there you're mostly taken care of mm -hmm. um there is also a limited registration which does not include meals so and that's 300 dollars, and that is obviously for people who live a lot closer and you know they don't need to have the meals if they don't want to now that said the meals are particularly, I think, interesting point about this conference because that is because the meals are together. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you're breaking bread with these other decision makers, uh, with all the decision makers, right? And it's and it, you know, and other people from across the country. It is impossible to break bread with somebody and not walk away from the table a friend having made a friend, right? And so, and that's just a very powerful networking tool, right? So sure. the meals are an integral part of it and that's why they're included, right? That's why there's the, you know, kind of push or whatever, the encouragement to mm -hmm. participate in, the, in that aspect of it. Now, if somebody can't come, but they still want to showcase, like they just can't come, then you can buy an extra showcase spot for the $50 and, and it, you know, and do it that way. Now you still have to get actors, right? Um, but there are local actors. We're putting together showcase players um, with a director and everything. And they'll have access to intimacy coordinators. Um, we will have um, stunt directors if necessary. I, you know, we're, we're trying to make it as, so you could long distance, you know, produce the, the your your scene for fifty dollars plus whatever you negotiate with your actors. Are these the showcase actors that you're offering? Like if it, and what if if I was attending? Do I still have to pay for actors? You still have to provide the actors. Like you. Uh, okay. Uh, here's another thing. Actually, if you are a. Um, Playwrights Guild of Canada member and mm. your scene is a monologue and you're going to read it yourself or whatever it doesn't have to be a monologue but you're going to read it yourself then you are eligible to apply for funding that as far as I understand not only gets you there but also pays you yeah 
if I'm not totally misunderstood with that. No, um, I've seen a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, of course, that's not quite. No, if you're a good reader, that's and it's a monologue, for example, that could do you very, very well. Right. Um, but of course, like the whole point is to put your best foot forward here. Right. It's 10 minutes. So mm -hmm. now that doesn't mean to say it's going to be expensive to get the actors. Like I said, that's something you negotiate with them, even the showcase players. Um, they're being provided as a group that is available and that, you know, have. Um, things facilitated for them so that it's easy to rehearse and blah, 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 blah right? Um, and I don't want to, like, I don't want to negotiate for them or say anything for them on their behalf, but I believe that the margin is very wide <laughs> as far as my, and my understanding goes in terms of what they're willing to negotiate. Yes, Deborah. So am I understanding correctly that if I cannot attend, but I have a script that I would like to showcase. Mm -hmm. um, do I pay, uh, and I'm assuming, maybe I'm wrong, but you have uh, maybe a pool of talent in your area, a Grand Prairie area that would come and play the parts of my script. Yes. And I would pay $50 for showcasing my script. Would I also pay for a registration of three or six hundred dollars or whatever it is, even though I'm not attending? No, no, no. And then the right. fifty dollars does that go to the actors who are playing the parts, or they are volunteering their time to get their be volunteering uh, their time? The fifty dollars goes to the conference. That's the, okay. the cost of the spot. And the actors get to showcase their talents by playing actors, my part. That's exactly okay. it. The actors are getting an also an unparalleled opportunity to showcase their talent to the same mm -hmm. decision yeah. maker. Let's not forget, yeah. they're not only these people are not only picking the scripts, they're also got an eye on act performance talent, right? And directing right. talent and you know, et cetera, et cetera. So as a as a playwright, you actually have some good negotiating leverage with the with the performers it's a great opportunity i, I the excitement's building <laughs> <laughs> yes janos hi yeah uh i have a couple of questions uh about this um uh, about some of the things so um when you talked about the the food that's being provided uh what about people who have dietary restrictions and so ends part one Please join us for part two.